Hi, everybody. This is a wee bit of alchemy. I'm Rick Barrett. Welcome. Today, I'd like to go back to something we discussed a few weeks ago and look at it from a different perspective, and that is shoulders. And we talked about it uh, from a, an insubstantial perspective, that is shoulder gin, the quality of um, being able to express your energy through the body, but particularly as related to the shoulders as one of the, the ba men, the eight energy gates of uh, Taiji Tram. And uh, it's the eighth one. And uh, ordinarily it's translated as a shoulder strike. That is uh, how I usually talk about it. But the other qualities have an insubstantial, the other uh, gates have an insubstantial quality also. So I like to, to uh, you know, think about the shoulder, not just as a, as a movement, as a something that you can do, but just like Pong Jin, which is not just a, a ward off posture, but the energy that is produced and that is expressed through that posture. So if we think about it in those terms, um, or Lu Jin, which is not just a rollback, but it's, it's that down and in energy, then what is it about shoulder that that uh, makes it unique, that makes it particularly, um, uh, make, makes it a quality that would be included in this, you know, in the eight bomb men. And uh, what I've come up with, and I've suggested a couple of weeks ago, was the idea that, that shoulder is perhaps the most insubstantial of the eight, and that it is whenever you get to that point, it, it integrates everything else. And so as a gate, it is what enables us to produce this whole body energetic connection and take it to a whole different level of, of, of integration. And it's a gate because the shoulders are very often uh, tense, we take our tension into our neck and our shoulders, our trapezius muscles, and and also the uh, the way we hold our body is it tends to create um, a closed uh, posture with the uh, uh, with the shoulders. So it opening them up is like opening up a gate, and it allows the energy to move more freely. So we approached it. We did some exercises a few weeks ago where we looked at it from just from that, that sense of feeling. I'd like to actually go back and, and come at it from a different direction, the more the substantial side. That is, how do we, how do we use our shoulders in a way that enables us to get um, the maximum gin, the maximum body, mind, spirit integration uh, in the, uh, in the application and thinking about it more than just a way of knocking somebody down with your shoulder, that it's a way of, of creating a whole body state that elevates everything else. And um, since so much is, is locked in, the, so much tension is locked in the shoulder, it kinks the hose. It's a major kink in the hose. And, and a lot of times we've approached it, and a lot of Tai Chi people approach it as an impediment, like, oh, my damn shoulders, I got to relax my shoulders, you know, relax your shoulders. And, and so there's, it, it's, it's looked upon as a, a chore or a duty or something like that. And I want to come at it from a different direction where we're actually looking at it as a participant, as something that we're, your shoulders are an ally not just something you want to get out of the way. And um, so the, um, besides the muscular tension, just from, from the protective impulse that we get at that really, that really basic um, uh, stress response kind of level where we tense up just to 
neck and shoulders just because we're trying to put the brakes on life. We're saying too much life is happening. I need to put the clamp it down. We want to, you know, that opening up uh, creates an expansion, which can be a little threatening unless you feel ready for that, that opening with your feel like, oh yeah, I don't need to be quite as protected. I can cast off my turtle shell and open up to what's going on here. So it kind of meet the moment and say yes to the moment. So like, you know, the idea in, in, in improv is, you know, the two rules are yes and you, whatever comes out, you say yes to it and then you add your own piece to that. And that's kind of what we want to do with shoulders also. We want to get that yes and quality to the shoulders. So it's not just putting the brakes on, it's opening up and saying yes. Well, yeah, okay, I'm ready. And so coming at it from that perspective, learning to use the shoulder in a way that is more uh, efficient and less constricted and allows us to access that whole body connection. One of the things that, um, you know, besides that, that um, uh, the tension that comes from that primitive stress response, there's also a problem that comes with the angle of the shoulder, just like we talked about with the hip joint. If your pelvis is, is rocked so that it's rocked forward, where you have you know, you're you're standing with, with like this with your 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 body is is pitched forward. The 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 pelvis is pointing down. It, there's an anterior uh, tilt to it. And if we we bring it back so that your pelvis is is level, then you are able to move your, through your quad much more freely. You know, whereas if you if you're if you're not if your your hip is locked up and your your pelvis forward, then you try to turn and it's going to put strain on your knee as you try to turn. Whereas if your your pelvis is flattened is is level and you turn, it's 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 a it's a a very fluid movement. Same thing happens with the shoulders. If as so many people, the shoulders are are collapse forward, the chest is collapsed and the, and the shoulders from hunching over computers and, and just, you know, from holding your body in a way that is kind of leaning, you know, you're, you're leaning backwards. So then your, your upper torso has to kind of, kind of go this, we kind of get this hunch in the, in the back as we get, particularly as we get older. And when that does the angle of the shoulder is like the hips, it also is pitched forward. So if I, you know, if I'm trying to raise my arm like this, I run into a problem. I run into a, a restriction, and you can try this too yourselves. If you're sitting or standing, you can just just feel that uh, feel that uh, that restriction as you try to just you try to bring your arms up, and you can force them up from that position, but then you're rubbing the the joint in, in a way that causes an irritation. It causes tendonitis, causes a, a um, uh, arthritis to happen. So, but if you uh, you get your three pillars in, you open up the chest, open up the shoulders, and then you you bring the arms back. Ta-da! You have it becomes an effortless movement instead of a restricted movement. It's 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 quite open and free. So you're able to allow the energy to move much more freely whenever you're in that in central equilibrium and to have your your body aligned so the uh, 